Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to No Boring Days. I just finished a ride with the new, sort of new, Canyon Inflight CFSL 7, I think. And pretty happy. Let me talk about it. Let me show you the bike. So as I mentioned in a previous video, I was looking for a new bicycle and I told my friends about it. And then Gino had a great idea that I should look at the market in Singapore because I was heading here anyway. He said that you might be able to get a good deal on a secondhand bike. And sure enough, that's where I found this Canyon Inflight CFSL 7. And um, oh my God, there's a lizard. There is a lizard. And I think I got a pretty good deal. I'm not gonna go to specific details on how much I got this bike for, but well below what people normally pay for it. Let me show you the bike. CF SL7 carbon frame in flight. It is a cyclocross bike. <laughs> Ultegra GRX. Uh, this is the unusual thing about this bike for me. So if, there, if I were to change something, it would be the crank set. This is a 4636 and I believe an 1132 in the back. It's gonna make climbing in Cebu a little bit difficult. So we'll test it out, but we'll see if we'll have to change that in the future. The stock build comes with Schwabe X1 all around 700 by 33 tires. It's kind, it's pretty knobby as you can see. It's supposed to be for cyclocross tires. And then I really like this little thing where you can put your shoulder on. The brakes on this bike is the GRX hydraulic brakes that I know and love. They are very, very reliable. And the integrated uh, stem cockpit, whatever this is called. It's my first time to use a carbon Everything, it's a carbon frame, carbon stem and handlebar. I believe it's a carbon seat post. And I did one ride, feels pretty good. The original stock build comes with this Sele Italia saddle, but when we bought it secondhand, it came with this saddle. I don't know what it's called. ISM PS 1.0, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I have yet to give a full verdict on the saddle. I'm not sure. That's what I have on right now. And uh, bought it secondhand, so it came with these Rock Bros flat pedals, which I am gonna change definitely. So let's talk about the stuff that I want to change on the bike. So what I wanna change on the bike will be most likely the tires at some point. I'm gonna run these tires for a while, but as I mentioned in the previous video, I want to have this bike as a road, my road bike that could occasionally go off-road if I wanted to. So I might put 30s or 32s there, probably something semi-nubby, maybe even slick, we'll see. I, gotta, I have to do an inventory of the tires that I have at home. But I'll run these tires for a while just to see what they feel like. And then the other thing that I may very possibly change hear all the sirens in the background makes for good YouTube videos the other thing that I plan to change on the in-flight would possibly be either the cassette or the or the crank the gear ratios are not really ideal for climbing so I might change it we'll see how it goes I'll use it first for a while and I'll try to live with it for as long as I can but if I feel like I need to change the cassette or the the crank maybe a smaller small ring no, right uh, then i might do that but all in all the bike feels good i was a little bit worried because it is a lot more aggressive than my midnight special but after riding it today it feels like the fit is pretty spot on so i'm pretty happy about that so expect to see this bike more on the vlogs and uh, I can't wait to ride it some more. No boring days, please subscribe.